Hey, Travis kiddos. Uh, let's go over our reading work for the day. So we are going to go over the sight words for the week. We're going to go over the sound. Um, and you are going to listen to the interactive read aloud, um, which is in the description, um, the link to that, um, which go over some vocabulary words, some extra ones for the week. Um, you're also going to read in the decodable reader. You're going to read charm scarves and car parts, and those you can find on Launchpad under Connect Ed, also in Connect Ed. You're going to read A Lost Button, a story with of um, from Frog and Toad Are Friends. You're going to read those. You can also listen along with Frog and Toad, so that might be a fun way to listen to it first and then read it on your own. Uh, you can always go back and review again. If you can read it on your own, great, go for it. All right, uh, then after you read Frog and Toad Are Friends, you're going to do page 214 from the Your Turn Workbook, these pages we sent home. So here you're going to talk about the character, who it is, the point of view, so how are they thinking or uh, how are they feeling or what do they need or want, and the clue that tells you, so what are they doing or saying that tells you how they're feeling or what they're thinking, what they want, okay? So you can um, either use um, the party for that. I gave you guys the option. So you can either use the party or you can use uh, the lost button. Um, your choice, but find at least three things that you can figure out from the story, the character's point of view. All right, let's go over the sight words for this week. We have large, none, only, put, round. So make sure you practice those a couple of times, going through them, reading them. You're going to see them in our stories this week a lot too, so you get less practice. Um, okay, so our phonics skill this week is the R sound. I keep saying it's like a pirate. Um, so when you hear the R sound, I'm going to say some words. When you hear it, uh, usually in class we play stand up, sit down, um, and you can do that at home too. So you can either stand up if the word has the R sound in it, sit down if it does not, or you can give me a thumbs up if it does, thumbs down if it does not. You can say yes, no, you can nod your head, whatever you'd like to do um, to show which things to distinguish, using those vocabulary words from the read aloud, um, which things have the R sound and which do not, okay? So I will give you the thumbs up or thumbs down after I say the word. I'll give you a second to decide, then I'll show you too. Okay? Cart. Time. Large. Care. So that one has A-R in it if you know how to spell it, but it doesn't have the R sound. So we're listening, we're listening for the sound. We're not worrying about how it's spelled, just listening for the sound. So care is a sit down. Start. Stand up for that one. Chart. Pull. Hope. Heart. Huge. Kind. Star. Smart. Hope you're smart enough to get that one. Fun. Arm. Heart. So all of those ones that have the AR sound, hopefully you stood up, gave a thumbs up, whatever your way of showing um, that it had the R sound in it, uh, and the other ones you sat down or put a thumbs down. Uh, you can think of your own words again as well. You're going to be reading them in the stories. You're going to have a great time with that. Um, hope you have fun. If you have any questions about the workbook page, let me know. Happy learning!